What's good? It's graphics. Thank God for another video. All right, so this video is going to be brief. I'm only going to give you my perspective on the team deathmatch on the multiplayer of Battlefield 5. Now, I've been playing it for this past week just to give it a really good try. I'm going to be reviewing some of the things that I enjoy about the game and some things I don't more or less enjoy. And keep in mind, this is the perspective of somebody who plays Call of Duty. You guys stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's just get into it. Okay, first off, there's been a lot of hype going around Battlefield because of the new trailer that dropped back a couple weeks ago, the Battlefield 2042. Now, I'm on the hype train, man, because a lot of COD people are tired of how COD is treating the community and not really catering to the players, the veteran players who've been playing the game for years and supporting the game. And it's kind of like we need a new outlet, right? So I gave Battlefield a try. I downloaded Battlefield 5. I know a lot of people have been downloading Battlefield 4 or replaying Battlefield 4, but I didn't have it. And, and Battlefield 5 is the most current Battlefield, so I just wanted to give that one a try. Now for the veterans on Battlefield 5, it was like a resurgency of Christmas news to them. I, the level up system takes so long. I've been a noob and I'm still a noob and I've been playing the game for a week, man. So trying to level up your guns or your operator's abilities may take you a while. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I've been playing the game for a minute and then like getting level three, it was like 10 hours of gameplay, boy, I was out here struggling for real. Now, speaking of struggling, as a medic, I supposed to help people who are struggling. They raise their hand like, hell, I need some help, I'm dying, I'm bleeding. I'll go there and throw them bandages or I'll pick them up, right? When I'm down and I'm struggling, then people will walk right past you like you ain't there. And I understand like if somebody's near you, you don't want to pick somebody up because y'all both gonna get shot and I got shot plenty of times. But bruh, they be walking past you to hit you with that. I'm sorry, little one. But I do enjoy that mechanic in the game. I think it's very interesting that you get shot, you can pick somebody back up. That's a really cool type of mechanic. Now if I die, I can just respawn. In this game where you can respawn on your squad mates, I really do enjoy the squad mechanic where there's like three squads on one team. I just think that's a competition within a competition. Like we're all on the same team, but we're competing against each other. I think that's dope. But more squad members means bigger maps and that's why I'm not so much of a fan. There's places on the map where you would think it'll be out of bounds, but people are hiding you there. They come out the woodworks. They're constantly flanking. There'll be times where I'm minding my own business with my teammates, and then the whole team show up behind us. Like, I thought we were shooting y'all. Now, I did adjust to that play style, and I started flanking back, and it's like a back and forth. If you're shooting somebody, you might as well just go around back just to make sure someone's not trying to snipe you from the outskirts of the map. Speaking of the maps, they're big, but they're beautiful. The graphics in this game is amazing. I love the crumbling effects. I love the fact that you're in an ocean, and then you can go to a jungle, and then you might be in a ruined city or something. I really enjoy the maps in this game. Again, they're a little big, but I do enjoy the graphics. Now, the health in the game is a little weird because sometimes there's damage for other weapons that are so high that you would die in like two seconds. It feel like hardcore. But then I use the SMG because I'm the medic class. And yeah, medics aren't supposed to be like in the front lines, but it'd be times where I'm shooting somebody, they take a long time, but they turn around the corner and somebody can shoot me with two bullets and I'm dead. So that's kind of frustrating sometimes to deal with that. Now I understand there being some trade-offs for different classes. I guess if you need to get your weapons upgraded, and that's another thing, weapon upgrades are so slow, and there's not a whole bunch of attachments that you can put on your weapon, at least for the Battlefield 5. I don't really know about the other Battlefields, but Battlefield 5, there's not a whole bunch of attachments you can put on your weapon. Now these are the things I've experienced in Team Deathmatch. I haven't really played Conquest too much, I'm not really too big on those maps and the large scale and running to the objective. It just takes a lot of time for me. I like to pick up and shoot. Now I know this video may seem all over the place, but that's like my first impressions on playing this for a week. And I can conclude that this is a decent game. I really do like Battlefield. It's a very interesting spin on a first person shooter, a little more realistic. I'm an arcade type of shooter guy, but I can definitely take some time to play Battlefield every once in a while. So since the new Battlefield 2042 is coming out, I'll definitely give it a try and give a full review on that game. All right, so this is gonna be it for this one, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and comment if you're gonna be playing the Battlefield 2042. And if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe for more content. Now, as far as this game goes, 
Sure, give it a try. It's only $5.